Hi, my name is Raphael Heath, the Head of Geography at the Royal High School Bath, and this is a tutorial about how to develop your own story maps using the Story Map app from ArcGIS Online. Uh, a Story Map uh, uh, app is actually quite a powerful tool for creating teaching and learning resources um, because it's not really necessarily just uh, about putting in maps and, and map, map functionality, it's actually a sort of interactive website that you're creating. So here's an example. I've got one about uh, teaching students about volcanoes. Uh, it's got a, a YouTube clip on the first page here. Um, you go to another page and uh, it has got a, a map in it, but uh, actually it's an embedded map from a different website. Um, it's uh, a bit funny, that map. There we go, it's come up properly. Um, it's got uh, uh, someone else's website here with some information and some interactives in uh, which students can engage with. So really you're creating a, a, an interactive resource uh, which students can uh, utilize in quite a powerful way. Uh, you're providing information and text uh, on the uh, side panel here uh, which provides information for students to work through certain things. You can have educational resources in here, tests and stuff like that, quizzes and so on. So it's quite a powerful uh, way of sharing lesson resources I think with students and packaging them uh, for online use and this can then be uh, shared as a link online or it can be embedded in your own VLE or websites and so on. So to start to create a story map, you can either go to Story Map's website directly and log in, or you can go directly from ArcGIS Online, um, and uh, or from a map. I'll just show you from a map um, as one way, of familiar way of doing it, but it uh, doesn't really matter. It doesn't uh, have to be any particular map. It uh, is actually of no consequence. The story map as such is just a way to get into it. Um, so you need a map. It can be a completely blank map that you just save. Let's say you called it blank map, and yeah, you share the map with uh, everyone or. Some, some people in the organization. Um, but you press this great web app, you've got various web apps to choose from. Uh, other tutorials have gone through some of the different ones here. And this one is called a um, story map journal. So if I press create on a story map journal here uh, and create, uh, then I need to just give it some information, a title and so on. So I'll just call it test uh, story map 10. Uh, I'll get rid of some of my other um, tags just to clean it up a little bit uh, let's call it test and uh, just test here okay um and i save it into a folder done okay so what it's going to do now is take me to the story map web app builder and the first thing it'll do is ask me what type of uh, layout I want. There's a choice of two layouts, a layout and the story maps, floating panel, side panel. I'll stick to the side panel. Um, and then the first thing it's going to do is ask me to put in some content to this story map. So I'll give it a title, um, uh, test story map for tutorial. Um, and it's popping up with a question of what do I want to put into it. So it sort of encourages me to put in maps, but I don't have to, as I said. Let's show you if I put in a video, for example. Um, let's find a video here. Uh, something on volcanic hazards. Great, that'll do. Uh, copy and put it in. Let's say that's what I want my story map to start with. Back to the uh, story map uh, builder. Uh, check my video, recognizes it, YouTube and how do I want it? I normally press stretch, but you can play around with other layouts for how it looks. And then you put in some text. So uh, this is a uh, story map about, about volcanoes and uh, watch this great video or whatever. Okay, um, and uh, you can do all the things you can expect to see here in terms of changing the fonts and the size of the information and so on. Let's just press add so you get an idea for this. So it says test, test story map for tutorial um, and uh, you can see that uh, it's come up with this video. The video is playable within the story map. Um, so um, you can see it coming up there and uh, it's got the text in that I wanted here. So that's my first page of the story map. Uh, you can see under settings a few other things I can control. I can control how big this side panel is. If I click apply there, you can see it's made it smaller. If I uh, click on the theme, I can change the color style for it. It looks a bit different, so you can see that uh, with a blue tab along the side um, and so on. Uh, the fonts and the header um, story map uh, test story map um, and so on. 
that's come up as test story map now. So there are things you can set with a sort of infrastructure layout of it. Then you want to uh, work on, uh, once you've finished it, you can share it. It's just share sharing settings is fine. Yeah, you'd uh, have that uh, link or the URL at the top to, to share it. Um, the uh, add section here lets you put in more information. So let's put in a map this time. Volcanic eruptions the last 2,000 years. So you can see that you can browse for maps. We can have one that already recognizes, so it searches your content, or you can search all the maps in ArcGIS Online. They don't have to be your own maps as long as they're publicly shared to be able to access. So uh, let's uh, put 2,000 years uh, and search for maps. It would uh, find maps that had that title in. I'm searching for a map I know. Uh, I give the section a title. I must remember to do this, otherwise it won't let me move on. So uh, volcanoes around the world and uh, location. So I can uh, customize a little bit about the locations and content uh, for this map. I'll just keep it as it is. Let's just keep it as it is for the moment. I put the legend in and then uh, it takes me to the text page. So I say uh, take a look at this map which shows the volcanoes etc around the world and get students to maybe uh, have some particular tasks they should be doing with it. Um, so you can see now I've got two pages as it were, two tabs within my story map. I've got this map and my video page. Okay, um, and You can go back to the editing here and you can change the text that it's got here. Uh, task 1, describe, whatever. Um, and you can change the main stage as well in terms of the map and how it appears and how it comes up a little bit. So custom configuration. Going to have a pop up come up for this uh, save pop up and save that now. So uh, now coming from this page to this page, that's how this map is going to come up and display. Um, and you can work on the text and layout so it kind of fits the panels a bit better and so on. But you can see the basic idea of this uh, and the way it navigates around. Um, some other clever things you can do. Let's go back uh, to this first section. Let's have a think about this. Let's, let's add another section for the moment. Okay, uh, let's add another section to show you different things you can do. Uh, you could put in images as well. So um, you might have images saved online or URLs or uh, for images that you can put in. Uh, videos I mentioned already and other web pages. This is quite powerful for information you want to embed or put in uh, other websites that you want to link to. So I'll just copy that website, USGS for example. I want my students to actually let's put in Let's put in this web app instead. So this is a web app I created using ArcGIS Online. I'll explain how to do them in another tutorial. And um, it's, n it's not a map, actually. Um, so I might think, oh, it's the map I'm putting in. But maps are just the maps hosted in Ar ArcGIS Online. Um, and uh, this thing I'm showing you here is an elevation profile web app. So it has its own web address and uh, it works differently. So I'll put it in as a web page. Um, paste. Ask me to configure it how I want it to look now. So I say I want it to, to stretch it. You can either have it uh, kit loaded once it's loaded once or unload when you navigate away to another page. Um, I think that will affect the amount of, sort of space and memory it takes. It won't let me click next yet because it says enter the title. So I need to put this in. So I'll say elevation web app tool or something. Next. Um, and then I put in some text. Use this tool to find out the heights land, whatever. Okay. Um, the text size and so on. Make that a little bit. Okay. Add. Um, I've put some returns in there so you can see that this panel is now taking up more of this space rather than uh, um, rather than showing some of the other bits and pieces. So you can see here, um, oops, I just navigated away. Uh, as I go to this tool, this page now that I've created, uh, it's quite neat with the layout. Uh, I've got this text in here. I've got this uh, other web page coming up, which in this case has got an elevation tool in. Uh, this elevation tool lets me do uh, various measurements uh, and interact with this uh, particular web app, this web page, uh, and then brings up the elevation profile. So I'm sort of providing information here for students that they can actually engage with, interact with, and instructions on this side panel uh, that tells them what it's about and what to do and so on. So those are the basics of creating a uh, putting in maps and putting in videos and putting in resources into a story map. You can see it's really quite straightforward and you can start to build quite powerful resources. There are a few other little uh, tricks and things you can put in. Um, you can uh, add a video uh, or let's just do this one. Uh, let's 
copy this video here. Okay, copy. Let's go back to my story map. Um, rather than having it in the main panel, I could put this video into the side panel here. So the same process of putting the video link in. Select this video, uh, fit, apply. Um, save. So you can see now that uh, it's got this video here, but it's also got a it's not a very good example of it, it's got the same video here, but if you had a map or something here, uh, as I had on the other page, uh, for example, then this video could sit underneath it uh, in this section here. So um, so you can put uh, information like this uh, interactively into the side panel, and that's uh, usable and viewable and interactive. Um, you can also change the uh, main stage actions, it calls it. So um, this is all my information here. Some text in here, maybe not. Welcome to my uh, web app about uh, Okay. And if I deleted some of the text there when I was working something else. Um, okay. Uh, click here for the USGS website site. Okay. Um, so if I highlight this text, uh, it can become a clickable link, which then changes something. So here I'm going to change the main stage actions. And the main stage at the moment has that video in, but I'm going to now put in this web page in for copy the USGS. Oops, go back to the right place. So I put that in as my link. So let's configure it. I'll stretch it again and so on. And you'll see the effect of this if I save it. So uh, you've got the, the title, the text here, you've got this video I've embedded, and you've got this clickable link now. So if I click on that, it now changes this main page to bring up the, uh, the USGS website and the focus on volcanic hazards and so on. So the, the basic idea of being able to create a lot of interactive content there, and lots of interactive references and links uh, to uh, different pages. If you didn't want it to bring up the web page here, but you wanted it to open separately, you would use the, uh, the links uh, tool there to add in a link, a uh, URL and so on, and then that would open a separate uh, link to it. Um, let's just put one in here. The same one in. Okay, save. Uh, and so now I have a clickable uh, link, which if I click it, opens a separate web page. My story map is still there. So, um, so there are different ways of adding information. So you can see it's uh, Quite straightforward, but quite powerful to be able to build. You can put all sorts of interesting and interactive uh, resources in. Uh, you can clearly put your maps in, but you don't have to put your maps in. Uh, and you can put like that sort of uh, interesting uh, materials from the web and online and things you've created as well. So that's an overview tutorial of creating a web app, um, a story, a story map. Um, isn't available to share it. I thought I had shared it. Hmm. Oh, save it. Okay. Um, view live. So if I view this one live, I should have pointed that out on the last screen while this is loading. Uh, I'll go back in a moment so you can see this is how it'll look to the public as it were, uh, people that uh, are, you've shared it with and that can access it. We'll go back to that story map, don't forget the, sh the saving button on the side here. Uh, save as you go along so you don't lose anything if your computer crashes uh, and, uh, and you don't lose any work. So uh, you keep saving it and you can see there the sharing and the uh, view live buttons and stuff like that. Okay, so that's an uh, overview of the very powerful, I think, very useful story map app, which uh, is produced by uh, Esri uh, as part of the ArcGIS Online uh, resources and packages, uh, which you can use and access. Uh, I think it's a very powerful tool for teachers. It enables you not just to create map resources, but obviously great format resources and to link to your ArcGIS Online account, but also other interactive content to uh, be able to teach material information to students. So I hope you found that useful uh, overview of using and building your own story maps. Uh, my name is Raphael Heath, the Head of Geography at the Royal High School of Bath.